What's up animators, Sharp here and welcome back to my channel. A while ago somebody asked me how to make a grappling hook in my animator. So naturally, almost a year later, here we are. <laughs> you probably know how to physically model a grappling hook because I have plenty of tutorials. I'm gonna put an eye in a corner to whichever one I can find that gets close to this. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using this thing which was made by Juffy on my animator forums. Because A, it saves me some work, and B, shout out to Juffy. <laughs> Link in description. Oh no, I clicked something. Ah. I modified it slightly to fit my needs, but this is pretty much it. We have the classic, uh, the floor is lava scenario. This guy's got a gra grapple over the log and swing across this thing. So this tutorial is mostly focused on the mechanics, not as much on the motion. So I'm not gonna try too hard to make it look realistic and whoa, real nice movements and all that stuff. I just want to focus on the mechanics of the grappling hook. So how do you first fire the grappling hook and second use the grappling hook, which is parented to the character and use that to swing your character around. So yeah, focusing on that. So let's see. First, I want to make this guy step forward. I haven't animated in so long. I don't know how this is going to turn out, honestly. Sing the legs. Always sing the legs. <laughs> he said I'm not going to focus on the motion. Yeah, here I am. But who cares, right? This is animation. Let's make it good. I really don't have time to work on this. I know he's going over the edge. I'm, I'm fix it later. I just want to sing the legs first. What I did is pretty much he made a little step. Oof. From here on, he's going to... I want to make him extend because he's going to jump, right? In this time, he's going to grapple on there and he's going to jump with the grapple already being on the log and then it's gonna swing over that's what i'm planning here so let's make this leg extend for some reason sharp bends are not on this obviously shouldn't be stopping so i'm gonna try to add some motion with the steve body part just because like i think i can cheat this so it doesn't look like he stops but yeah it looks like he's stepping right so ah my arm is itchy in the meantime he wants to bend forwards move out the way like so because you know he's gonna grapple stuff i really don't know why i'm trying so hard on the animation here because i literally said the focus is on the mechanic not the motion okay this is it i sharp bends blocky bends can't stand this. So I recommend you animate the motion first and you can adjust the grappling hook later to the character. Well, it sure isn't the best animation I've done. Grappling hook needs to extend. So this stick, I believe, because this is not my rig. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this into the wood. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Again, like it's it's focused more on the mechanics, not as much on the actual motion. So I'm gonna scale out the Y because this is the rope. And I'm gonna try to turn it so it's still inside the grappling hook thing, right? So this is it. So this is this is a little bit slow. Okay, which part is lacking? This part is lacking. So if I do this, it looks better. Sure. At this point, he is already attached because any any motion that I add to this guy is going to ruin the grappling hook up there. So the grappling hook is the point of contact based on which the whole character is now moving on. You need to duplicate the Steve and the grappling hook needs to be the main driving force. Steve needs to be locked onto the grappling hook. You basically need to duplicate your entire setup. Try to get this roughly onto the same spot. I think this should be all. You can tell it's not exact, but hey, who cares? Make a keyframe for all the grappling hook parts and delete the rest. So this is how it starts. This is the first keyframe of the grappling hook. If I make the first keyframe invisible, as Steve does this, this one becomes visible, right? But if you play the animation, you can't really tell that anything's changed. So just get it roughly close enough. And now the Steve should be locked onto the main grappling hook. No, the stick, right? Ah, the stick should be the main thing, ah, not the grappling hook. So if I, can I get the rotation points? Hold on, I'll try doing something, I can fix it. The rotation point is in here. I just wanna get the rotation points in correctly. So if I put all of this here, the rotation point is in here and I'll move everything back up. And for some reason, there's something else in there. I gotta fix this. All you need is two sets of this. So first is your main character, which has the grappling hook and attaches onto this. At this point, your character should become invisible. And what's visible is only the duplicate of the character and the grappling hook. But everything needs to be locked onto the grappling hook. So Steve should be locked onto this grappling hook thing. So I'm not gonna make him a hard scale. I'm gonna make a keyframe for all this stuff. Delete the previous ones, so I can't really mess this up. Put Steve down and try to position him roughly into the same place. I'm gonna bring the character back so I can see where it was and now go back to my second Steve which is locked onto the grappling hook 
And I'll make the first Steve invisible and this Steve visible. So what happens now, you can't tell anything's changed. Maybe it jumps a little bit, but hey, it doesn't matter really. He's jumping anyway. So first the Steve is the main point and then the grappling hook is the second point. So at this point, make the swing. That's gonna be an ease in back. So he oof, no, that's not good. Bring it up like this. Huh. I'm getting the rotation from the, the grappling hook thing. You should obviously take into account that there's a lock here and the rope is actually just piercing through this. So the grappling hook should actually get stuck onto something thin so it's not clipping through stuff. But again, I'm just showing you the mechanics. There's another thing though, the string, right? So if I do this and if I scale the string down and the decor should come up with it, but the grappling hook is not a part of it. This rig is built so weird. This is literally just the grappling hook, right? There's nothing I can do about this. This is the shape. This is why I don't like using other people's rigs. So this is now identical. I just gotta adjust the Steve so it's in the same place. That was a lot of extra work that could have been avoided if I just used my rig. Lesson learned. Make your own stuff, kids. Don't don't steal. And now what happens? Doop. It doesn't feel like anything is wrong, but the grappling hook is here and I do have it. Finally, thanks. Till this point, it's gonna be turned like so. And this is gonna go up a little bit, so it's like... And then it's gonna be like a swing. Make it slower. Gravity, timing. And now the string is gonna be scaled inwards, right? So this, he's gonna be brought closer to the platform. He jumps up and the string is gonna get shorter. He's not gonna swing with the full distance. The grappling hook is gonna be brought inwards. Ah, more fiddling left and right. But the stick is gonna be brought inwards. And the string is also gonna be scaled down to compensate for that. So it's gonna be like this. This also needs to have an ease out. So it's like... There's a little bit of sliding because again, it's not my rig. I'm not sure how it works. I'm just try to fix it as much as I can like this. Okay, see? It works. And now all I gotta do is animate the Steve. Just make sure that the arm is always holding it. See, because other 3D animation softwares like Maya and Blender, they have IK handles, which can really help you avoid all this stuff. So you don't have to do this hand by hand fiddling animation like I'm doing right here. This is also the reason why I'm gonna move on to Blender. But pretty much just giving your character some motion is gonna be better than having him still. So always move the character. This is very important. It's just sad that I can't use overlapping action because when I do, the arms get overlapped and they don't sit still in the socket. At this point, I want the character to just go down. Head is gonna be looking at the platform because this is his destination now. I try to make it look like he's putting a lot of the weight onto this side because he is holding on with his right arm. He's gonna wanna put as much weight as possible onto the right side so he doesn't lose control. I'm pretty sure that also means this arm is gonna get tucked in, right? This feels like something that would happen. Like, the body and the arms need to be moving together, but the legs and the head don't really matter. So if I add some overlapping action on the legs, this is too intense now. And now as he's getting here, I'm gonna prep him for actually landing, right? Then you gotta make the other rig visible and just sink them again. I just wanna turn him and position him like I want him to be. The head should be looking down turned somewhat sideways, right? The entire body is going to be adjusted and the arms as well, right? Because that makes sense. And what if I just give this an ease in and out back? Like, would that look weird? No, it wouldn't actually. Now you have all this done. So the, the jump, the swing. At this point, you're gonna wanna make this visible again. Boom, I wanna make a keyframe for all this stuff and just make an instant keyframe here to avoid any glitches and stuff. So this is gonna be visible now. It's gonna have to overlap the other Steve. So just uh, match them again. You don't have to match it perfectly, just it's still a very intense motion, there's lots of going on, so it's not gonna matter too much if it's not completely identical. Just make sure that the main parts are synced. This was invisible and it turned visible here. If you play this, it should just look like it got duplicated. That's perfect, like there's nothing wrong here, right? Make this invisible, this should be ease in now. Yep, delete this. So what you've got here is this Steve throwing a hook and then swinging and now this Steve is visible which is just your, just your casual Steve right so you can just animate him like you would normally 
What I like to do is I like to set the end point. So how he's going to land. So this leg is going to be turned like this. This leg is going to be ready to land. The body is still going to be bent backwards. Not as much left and right though, just backwards. The head can not be looking as down anymore. This arm is still ready to catch the balance and all that stuff like this. And this one needs to go back as much as possible because he is still holding on, holding on to the log, right? So like if I do this, I think it's perfect. And what I want to do now is I want to animate the stick and the grappling hook just going back in like this. So this is it pretty much. This is pretty much it. He shoots the grappling hook, jumps up and lands. So the main thing, if we just summarize all this, again, the motion is not perfect. I'm talking about the mechanics. So you've got your first Steve here. Steve is the parent holding the grappling hook shoots it out and as soon as the grappling hook makes contact the grappling hook is what Steve is swinging on so the grappling hook needs to be the parent so this guy turns invisible the new guy turns visible which is just the reversed rig so the grappling hook is the parent and everything else is parented onto it the rotation point is at the point of contact so you can rotate the point of contact and everything else is gonna follow so it looks normal right so you don't have to do all the manual hand by hand thing as this comes to an end though it's once again the same scenario so the grappling hook is no longer in charge because he is no longer attached to it and Steve is holding the grappling hook so Steve needs to be the pair again so you inverse the visibility I'll match it up again and you just make this visible make the other one invisible and this looks pretty cool and that is it for the grappling hook hope you guys enjoyed and learned a thing or two if you did smash like hit bell I don't know if I switch these around I managed to find enough time to make one of the longer tutorials which is this grappling hook right now I don't know when I'm gonna have time to make more Stay hydration. But this is it for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Stay sharp.